3. Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome to my YouTube channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer here, ready to start a daily tarot reading for the daily energies. Thank you very much for being here, your support is greatly appreciated, I wish you the best thoughts, ideas, feelings and emotions, a whole bunch of individuality, creativity and responsibility as well. Remember to check the links in the description down below to check more of my content and my beautiful partners Daria content as well. You can contact us and donate to us using the links and the link trees in the description down below and the emails on the description down below as well. Remember that you can ask one reading for yourself uh, of tarot or astrology. I'll put the things in the screen over here and what you see on the screen right now as well over here it's because i'm live on youtube making this video right now and that's the pricing over there it's the pricing for the live stream and what we're doing over there you see that's the price for the live stream it has nothing to do with this video okay but uh, yeah just keep in mind you can go to the live stream and ask one card for yourself while we live and then I break it down live for you and it's a great experience. Okay, so let's start with today's energy. Thank you very much for being here once again. It's really, really cool. I really like to do this to you as well, guys. It brings more stuff, more sustenance to the reading. And let's get started. Sh shout out to my soul group and to everybody out there changing the world right now by being themselves and by changing the world. That the best way to be is to be your goddamn self. So... Today is Venus Day in Leo, which is very, very good. Venus likes to be in Leo, okay? It's like Venus is kind of stubborn. She she only likes to be in Libra. Really, really like only celebrates being in Libra and Taurus. Because yes, it's exalted in Pisces, but it knows it's kind of lost there. But it still likes to be there, but it really feels 100% comfortable only in Libra and Taurus, but in Leo and Pisces, it, it, it feels excited, it can receive attention, it can see new stuff, it, it can feel hot, it can feel like we can relate things non-stop with more confidence or more expansion and more awareness, and it's always very cool, okay? So with Venus in Leo, we're going to relate the things that we pay fixed attention to. Okay, and then we have the sun in Virgo, paying, it, paying attention to detail and acting and expressing detail in our communication, in our thinking and in our organization. And the moon is in Leo as well. So the moon and Venus are conjuncting. So we are feeling more connected or we are attracting uh, even more people that need fixed attention or people that want to pay fixed attention to us. And we are feeling comfortable with those things and we are being relatable with those things so you, you might have a toxic person trying to pay attention to you or trying to make you paying attention to them and because venus is in there you're going to feel all relate relatable and open and manifest the best circumstance for yourself okay keep that in mind but moon and leo is also good you, you can feel lighter you can see clear um, with more clarity why you're feeling a certain way or why you have been manifesting stuff in a certain way you can feel more entertained or you might need entertainment and if you don't get it you might get moody so be have that in mind be careful with that so the first card of today is a bit of scatteredness which is okay Because Virgos be scattered as well. They don't like to, they, don't, they don't like to admit or to look like it, but they 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 scattered as well. Every mutable sign is scattered. Every fixed sign is stubborn, and every cardinal sign has a bit of insecurity, or like it's a, it's a, it's a more unique insecurity. Because I was just thinking that many people in the world are insecure right now, right, about themselves. But the first card of today. With the sun, in Mer the sun in Virgo, the moon in Leo, and we being on a Venus day with Venus in Leo as well. The moon is at 24 degrees, the sun is at 3 degrees. So, oh, we have a card here for today, for today, and it is Four of Pentacles, Orion. Alright, 
So we are trying to make sense, we are trying to be or look realistic, or we, we want to pay attention and to feel comfortable in something that can present to us why a certain circumstance is stable, productive and efficient. But they might be just talking a good game with you to you with that Venus and Leo, they might relate in a very fixed and exciting way, but the reality might not be like that. Keep that in mind. Let's go for the second card of the day. Whoa, 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 whoa. It was immediate. Let's go. Hey, 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 woke visuals. Great uh, greetings, soul family. Thank you very much for being here. We are right now recording a video for YouTube. Let's go. For the daily energy reading. Prince, Prince of Cups, Mutable Water. Yeah, and this makes sense. This makes sense. Think about it. Mutable water. Associating, sharing, connecting your dreams, illusions, imaginations, visions, feelings, and emotions. Emotions. Prince of Cups. Creating a new external way to deal with your feelings and emotions. So if, if it is external, it deals with communication. So by default, it links to mutable water. Sharing and associating in the new fresh way because it's a prince but it can grow to a king you just you need to make sure that you work and use the sun in virgo detail routine and the moon in leo loving yourself lighting lightening up your own fire to make this new and fresh way to relate your dreams and illusions grow into the king of water into the king of cups so now you can give your great emotional support, but right now you need to take care of yourself because you are developing a new external way to deal with the emotions. It can grow into a very powerful king, but you need to take care of it first. How are you doing, AI Walk visuals? I hope you are doing very, very well today. Let's go for the third card of the day. Shout out to everybody out, the, shout out, to everybody out there, changing the world right now, by being themselves and showing to others that the best way to be is to be your goddamn self. Third card of Sun in Virgo, Moon in Leo, and Venus Day in Leo. And Venus is in 18 degrees, okay. So we have 3 for the Moon, 6, no, 3 for the Sun, 6 for the Moon, because it's 2 plus 4, and then we have 9 for Venus, which is 1 plus 8. So I'm here in this moment experiencing a connection to higher dimensions, because we have the 3 that rules the 1 and the 2 dimension, the 6. That, rule, that rules the 4th and the 5th dimension, and the ninth that rules the 7th and the 8th. And it's technically not ruling, it's just like, 1 is masculine, 2 is feminine. 3rd is the conjunction of those, so it creates a higher perspective. 4 is masculine, 5 is feminine, and 6 is just a higher perspective, you don't need to be divided, okay? You just connect, you just see everything, and then 7 is masculine, 8 is feminine, but 9 is androgynous and can see both ways, so it has a higher perspective, or a wider perspective. It's just about that, it's not, just, it's not really ruling or governing, you know. Let's go, third card of the day. Sun in Virgo, Moon in Leo, feeling more excited and happy about routine and patterns, or killing your excitement. Sun in Virgo, Venus and Leo, uh, filtrating and knowing what's going on behind your uh, uh, exciting and entertaining relationships, or relating some dead-ass dreams and illusions, because you're still happy about them, but they're dead, because of Virgo. And uh, Moon in Leo, conjuncting Venus in Leo, feeling comfortable with our relationships, or we want to shift, we want to receive all the attention in the relationship. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, dudes. It's taking some time. What's going on? Let's go, third card. We're waiting for you. Bring that money home. Let's go. We got it, we got it. 
eight of ones that's actually yeah bro that's actually the fusion between leo and virgo okay this means that you can spend a lot of time in the same feeling in the same vision and in the same imagination this is very strong because we as spirits we have some troubles doing that you might have a great vision about yourself but it's hard to keep paying attention to that and to keep in that space okay but this can also be bad because if you are lost in or if you are stuck in a bad feeling in the in a bad vision of yourself you can feel out of breath you can develop anxiety and panic attacks because in reality there is no mental diseases it's just your spirit is being too weak to whatever light it is attaching on because you feel anxious by going outside because you think somebody gonna think a certain way about you and there is no way you can know if that's right or wrong you can't know unless you go and ask them right so i don't want to sound rude i'm just being realistic and i'm talking about mental diseases like anxiety uh depression that thing about eating because you think you're too fat and you're skinny like a stick that's being a pussy spiritually speaking okay because you created the light that that you can handle you created a mental space that you can handle and in today's time there is too much respect and and victimization to people that do that to themselves people that cut themselves and shit like that they are being spiritually weak okay their mind cannot understand and handle the own the, the own thoughts that it creates and attracts okay but that's for another video but it, that comes from when you are stuck in a lower vision of yourself anxiety depression cutting yourself it all comes from that it all comes from that love all the way from kelly Ooh, kelly kelly i want to go to kelly one of these days it sounds awesome okay Be beautiful land love you too okay so on the positive side because the virgo sun can bring routine and pattern to the moon in leo visions and imaginations you can have a very strong and sturdy higher lighter vision of yourself or you might get stuck in a lower and dark vision of yourself if you don't feel fulfilled if you don't feel like you receive enough attention or you are entertained enough you can start to think weird stuff about yourself then you worry about it or you spend a lot of time in it and then you create depression and shit like that okay because it's 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 really not a disease bro you, you can't cure it with pills the pills only make work only make you worse you just need to convince yourself you not like that you just need to convince yourself if i feel weird about going outside then i'm really weird because going outside is no problem i'm telling you it's not it's not you creating a problem and you are attached to that problem you don't want that problem to go away because sometimes probably that's the only way you receive attention i'm telling you let's see how we can use today's energy in the highest way possible let's see how we can make sense out of out of our new way to associate our emotions so we can have a strong and long lasting higher vision about ourselves orange gold dragon from octaurus okay so this is teaching by being yourself teaching by showing others that the best way is to be your guy themselves teaching by showing others that the best way to be is to be a bit more feminine a bit more sensitive a bit more intuitional i don't need to explain every fucking detail of the dream i have last night I um, just need to explain that it carries a fucking message, okay? And this is like you have the teaching for of pentacles. Like for me to teach you something, it needs to make sense. Otherwise, you're not going to learn anything. Four of pentacles. Then we have this mystic and orange looking to the card, right? That means creativity, emotion, care, pleasure. And then you have from Arcturus. Uh, more spiritual okay the weight of wands spiritual teaching 
you by being yourself you can teach others to be themselves all right yeah cali fornos which fornos means heavens in portuguese actually yeah but california kelly kelly means queen or king okay and fornia uh, i had a theory about that because california it was detached from america before and then because of some climate change yeah climate change is normal guys uh, because many people be like oh we're fucking up the world the climate is changing no climate change is fucking normal it's a cycle okay and because of those cycles in climate california was detached from america and it was a specific land with its own government which was very strong powerful woman that's why cali it does not mean king it means queen of fornia and then fornia it has some spiritual meaning like it can follow philosophia which is also very feminine but that's for another video right so the best way to use today's energy is to teach others how to be spiritual but teach that in a in a logical way show them real examples in your life in your everyday life how you organize yourself how you live your life all right and uh, that's it that's all for today guys because the the video was made on the live stream we have we had a little bit of distractions but it's also cool because you guys can know how we what we talk about on the live streams and and things like that so until the next time shout out to everybody that watched the video i hope the reading helped you and until the next time as the cloud surfer surfing out